to another episode of ODS Dog to Sick World. Well, I was just doing work on the house. As you can see, I did quite a lot. I'll just show you from outside. I haven't fixed this area, but I built just out of our first section of our house. I may or may not have completely forgotten that it was Friday today because we're in the holidays. Or well, not big, that big holidays. I don't know how I forgot. But yeah, it's time for a call. I completely blank. Sorry. So, this episode I'll be cleaning out the, like, my house. This, yeah, this is my house, guys, I know. Hopefully we'll finish this little section. Sorry, I tried to do some off camera completely blank from the fact that it was Friday. I was just doing work when I realised it. I was, like, listening to something. And I was like, I wonder what kind of people actually watch my videos. I was like, videos? Oh yeah, I need to record this, am I? I wonder why I record this again? Oh yeah, I record it every Friday. Look at the date. Oh snap, it's Friday! Yeah, so, quite interesting. Sorry about that. It's probably because my last video was late. Like, I'm on a schedule of waiting six weeks. I don't know, six, six days before I can actually record. So I'm back now. We got a Roblox Pokemon project tomorrow. Basically, back-to-back -back days. Hopefully, everything will be back to normal soon, though. Hopefully. So, you guys actually kind of seem to like my Pokemon story. I got a comment, which is, if I get a comment, that means someone liked it. In the future, I got actually a decent amount of subscribers or big. You used to get only one comment an episode? <gasps> I wonder if that will ever happen. I really hope it will, because that's the whole, not the whole reason I had to get subscribers. The real reason that I started this was so that I could, uh, like, post Minecraft on YouTube. Because I really enjoy playing Minecraft, and it's every child's dream to play video games for a living. And now, playing video games for a living is actually a possibility. So this episode, I'll just be working on the house a bit more. Sorry that I haven't gotten back yet. We, I believe all we got to do to get back, however, is rebuild our house, the farm, and the mob grinder. And we should be good. Hopefully. By then. So now for the rest of this episode, um, I guess I'll just be chatting to you about something else. I, I actually find it a lot easier to work if I'm not trying to just just really think of something to talk about. Wait, do I have a glass of water if you have something really thirsty? Uh, yeah, I don't have a glass of water. I just have stuff. Oh yeah, bases. So if you couldn't understand what I was saying there, I usually take my braces out before I record a video. But I had to have them out because I was recording a video earlier, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So now, I'm, I can think of a subject to talk about. Sorry, I, like, I re realized that I needed to record five minutes ago. So this is kind of spur of the moment thing. But also, really quickly, I just got a sign up. Like, I've made a sign myself that I can put on my door handle saying, I'm recording, do not disturb. So now we should get this, no, no disturbing, disturbing this. And I just realised I already said that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, One thing that I should mention just quickly is that I will soon be creating some games to play. Oh snap, that was a bad idea. Like, what I'm planning on doing is, if I'm correct, there should still be the Mesa biome over there. I'm pretty sure. I'm not certain, I may have just messed it up horrendously. But I'm pretty sure there's still a Mesa biome. If there is, that's why I'm planning on making my fun land. Which is well, my amusement park will basically be an amusement park based off a certain funland owned by a certain cat. Okay, I just realised there's a massive gaping hole in the wall. Sorry about that. So, what I'm planning on doing if to rebuild the house is I am going to completely rebuild each part of it with section by section. So I got this section, then I rebuild the- It actually only took me about an hour to 
to rebuild this section here. So it should only take me one, like about an hour to rebuild each section. And with all the sections that there are, that should take about, wait there's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. about eight hours of my life, so yeah. Might take a while, but definitely I can do it between this week and next week. Hopefully this video can upload, because I'm recording this quite late when I usually record it. So really sorry if this uploads a day late, that's completely my bad. Oh, I am. Could have been useful if that sheep was still alive. Poor souls. I didn't even survive a minute. Also, I did see a dog earlier, like a wild dog, so a wolf technically. So that does mean that Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. I've got a sort of OCD thing where I have to have, I, I cannot live knowing there's a hole here. It just, it really annoys me when like, I watch people building and they have those, like they use those, like their air pockets, I guess you could say. So I just had a brain blank. So that was kind of the problem there. If, hopefully that helped you if you ever get annoyed at that as well. Okay. I had a theory. Like, I know I talked about theories before on this channel. Like, in one episode of Radio Fantastic World, no less. You know, we can keep working into the night. Because we're inside for once. But that theory really wasn't that spectacular, if you guys remember it. Because I was distracted the whole time, lost my point. Really, really sorry about that. But now I have my own personal theory, which I am completely forgetting. Because I. I thought that it was really good when I thought that I don't know why. I'm really sorry that this is probably incredibly boring just listening to me trying to think of something to talk to you guys about. So I guess I could just talk to you guys about next Pokemon games. I know Sun and Moon have literally just come out, so I could talk to you about them. So I'll just tell you my team for Sun and Moon. So I did my team video, like what I planned my team to be in Sun and Moon, and it turned out a little bit different than I actually expected. So there were quite a few differences. Um, three differences, in fact. So I still chose Popular as my starter, which was awesome. Uh, I still have Rocker for my team, which again was awesome. Um, what else did I still have? Oh my gosh. Um, Persimian. Persimian was still on my team. And so was Alolan Executor. But not for that long, actually. So what happens is you can actually get um, a little Marowak way earlier in the game. I'm not going to spoil any of the plot. I will just be telling you basically where Pokemon are. So I'm sorry if there is spoilers. So if you don't want to know where you can even find Pokemon, then don't watch this video. I'm really sorry. I don't. I really want this to be a spoiler-free zone. But I feel like just talking about where Pokemon are would be okay. I'm gonna try this. I'm really sorry if this does spoil. But this is an alert if you don't know where Pokemon are in the game. Okay, I think that's enough of a warning. So, uh, it turns out a lone executor can only be found on, like, basically near the end of the game. And so I decided to go with a lone Marowak instead as one of my team members. But, um, also Tapu Bulu, you could actually only find post-game, which was a bit annoying seeing as he was a member of my team. So I changed that into two cannon, who turns out to be my second ever Pokemon that I made to level 100, which feels pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice to be home again. And another member of the team that did change was Cosmog. Cosmog 
actually didn't become a member of the team. He, in fact, okay, no, that'd be a massive spoiler. Let's just say that I didn't use Cosmo. Let's leave it at that. So, okay, so what we've got to do now is we've got to start building a farm because we need a farm like really soon. So I remember that we had basically the two farms. I feel like this might be a bit too close, but seeing as we'll go from here all the way to right next to here. Would that be wide enough? Yeah, that'll definitely be wide enough. And then, nope, not there. But um, so how far away was that one? Two blocks out. Okay, sorry about this. I'm just rebuilding the farm. So one, two. So I actually need fences there. I'll just place that block there. So how far out should they go? That's the real question, I guess. Um, I guess this is the best one to choose. I feel like to the end of this sandstone, this sand here, show you how, how far they went. No, no, possibly a bit further. Let's go to the end of this island. No, it went even further out than that. I remember, it went about five blocks past the end of the island. Man, we had a big farm. So about here, so one, two, three, four, five. That is a really nice view. I need to screenshot that. I'm sorry. Okay, there. So that does seem like a decent amount to go for. Okay, cool. So. And there's this one too, which might be a bit more difficult. We'll just go on a straight line and we've got a shovel. So what could go wrong? This could also work in helping getting the doghouse to be rebuilt again. And of course the stone. So leave in the description down below what your Sun and Moon team was. Like, and, or anything about them that you want to say. Like, wait. Did you find your new favorite Pokemon? Because I definitely found my new second favorite Pokemon in Rockruff. Good Angel will still always be my favorite. Because it was my first ever starter, and I don't know why, but I have this sentimental feeling that I must have my starter throughout all of my Let's Play of any Pokemon game. Unless it's Gen 3, in which case I'm averse if I find a cool Pokemon to drop my starter. I won't be doing this in my Let's Play that I'm doing currently in Gen 3. Oh gosh, yeah I definitely have enough. I don't know why I was worried there. Okay, we're also going to need to get fences back. That might cost a lot of wood, but we need to chop off all those trees there. So it might not be that expensive actually, if we're lucky. Like not time expensive, I mean. It won't be that expensive at all. I can just do that as I normally do it. Oh gosh, where's my food there? I need to make a chest trap. I guess I didn't have to eat this whole episode because I was inside most of the day. Oh yeah, DB Plays Games was here recently and we went around. Pokemon Go has just released Gen 2. That's what I should talk about. So, I actually really enjoyed Pokemon Go. I kind of wanted to do a Let's Play of it. But the thing is, I couldn't have anywhere to record a phone because I only had access to one phone at a time. And I couldn't find a screen recorder. So that's kind of turned into a really big problem when ranking that on making a series as you saw with Sky Wars, but we saw our Let's Play series, so that was fun. 
so recently in Pokemon Go Generation 2 has been announced adding 80 new Pokemon uh, except legendaries and the baby Pokemon that have already been added now I love Generation 2 I've already evolved one Pokemon being Furret I captured a, a bunch of centrets by going around the park and I evolved one to make it into a Furret that would be awesome and Furret is so adorable I mean the way it was rubbing its hands together doing that was so cute oh my gosh gotta be kidding me you know what I'm just gonna fist it fist the sand of death think about it if you actually tried to punch sand out of the way that would not work I just think about it because like sand it would just keep flooding back in I guess you could do it if you did it really statistically I mean, Pokemon Pokemon Go, not how do you punch sand out of a hole? So, what? I don't actually battle that much Pokemon Go, which a lot of my friends find interesting because they say that battle is the only bit that's actually worth doing. What I love about Pokemon Go is it's not actually about the story or the shiny hunting that you can do in a post game, it's about completing the decks. Which, when you're a little kid watching the Sinnoh anime and Ash Ketchum walks past Pokemon every day that he hasn't caught and doesn't catch him saying he's going to complete the decks you think that y you know what i'm going to complete the decks if ash can't i'm coming for you oak and i did get to do that in alola but now i'll slowly get to do it in the real world journeying across the land with my bulbasaur not a turtwig but turtwig will come soon don't worry it'll come very 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 soon okay so is this the first section done i believe no nope. No, it's not. So sorry that this is such a boring episode, guys. I know that you obviously aren't that entertained by this. But hopefully I can just talk and entertain you for a little bit. Maybe. Possibly. No. Okay. But actually... Okay, so back to this. So when the next... I wonder when the next gens will come out because I will, I love generation one and, and especially two. Two is one of my favorites. Even though I never played the games, I just love all the Pokemon. And when I've heard of the gym waiters, I will destroy you when I find her. Don't worry, I'll kill her. So that's basically my plan for that. So I believe for this, I built out from here to catch up with the others and i really want to play the gen 2 games because i love the idea that you could travel across two regions that just sounds incredibly cool and fun the only thing that i don't like about gen 2 is the fact that you can't actually get that many pokemon which could be a bit annoying but could still be really fun because I can play it multiple times and it'll be easier to use every Pokemon in the game. And But I can't wait to like get more Gen 2 Pokemon because I still haven't completed the Kanto decks. But it'll be fun like over the next year I'm gonna really grind hard and like go around a lot outside, try to complete the decks, like cycling around all of Cambridge, looking for cool stuff, trying to find and complete trying to find all the pokemon evolve and i think hatching is coming soon because i noticed that pokemon actually have genders now so if hatching is coming soon i caught on my first day on my new phone get this i started late freaking ditto that's right i got a ditto on my first day so if you can breed i'll be able to breed all the pokes like all the pokes and i bet you you can get candies for breeding it'll be an easy candy farming method i know it will be also, because shinies were recently recently added into the game, it's gonna be so awesome, like grabbing some shiny books. But I, I still, as I said before, my main aim is still gonna be trying to complete the decks, just because like lifelong childhood dream. Yeah. Oh, this episode's actually gotta end soon. So does the day. So I'll just finish this line up. Then I've got to scramble it like an egg. Okay, so guys, 
that is going to be the end of this episode of oh yeah success so we got a lot done i'll try to do a lot more by then like by next time hopefully i've got two more sections we'll take two more out no i'll build the rest of the house guys no half the house I'll, I'll done something about the next time. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of ODF Trust World. I hope you have a great day. And ODF, out.